Hi guys, it's Sherelle here from Planner with a Praise. If this is your first time visiting my channel, then welcome. And if you've been here before, then welcome back my friends. And I'm so glad to have each and every one of you. So before we begin, I just wanna share with you some of the things that I do on this channel. And primarily what I try to do is give people creative ideas on how to organize their money and their time so that neither is ever wasted. Also, periodically, you will see me in my craft room and I I also do hauls and that's what this video is about today it's me showing you some of the things that I've purchased recently that I think you may find useful so if any of this interests you keep on watching I also invite you to follow me on the Instagram platform <music> So true to the title of this video, this is going to be a very small haul, but I promise you the things I'm going to show you today is definitely useful. So as I begin to pull out the things that I purchased recently, I want you to know that I am not pulling anything out in any specific order. I'm just going to share with you some of the things that I have and please comment below and let me know A, if you have any of these things or now that you are seeing them, do you plan on buying any of these things? Comment below. So here we go. The first thing that I want to show you that I purchased recently are these two set of plastic discs. These are from the Disney Mickey Mouse collection sold by the Happy Planner. This one is black and both of them are the medium. This one is red, as you could see. It too is the medium size Happy Planner disc. They're both plastic. And I don't know if you could tell, let me just see if I could just pull one out easily. Um, I wanted to just show you the silhouette of both of these discs because I think they are adorable. So if you can see, the silhouette is the, the vintage Mickey ears. So that's what the black disc has. It has that Mickey Mouse cutout. And then this one, the red disc, hold on, I'm gonna open it. So the red disc has the Minnie Mouse uh, bow cut out and I just thought these were really really cute and to be honest I would not have purchased them if I was not with my daughter she kind of talked me into them and I really don't remember how much I paid but I will tell you that they were available at Joann's and I know for certain that they were under eight dollars and I had a coupon so you know I didn't have to break the bank for uh, these discs, I didn't have to pay regular price. So that was one of the things that I wanted to show you today. Next up, I purchased these two organizational uh, containers. Both of them I purchased at the Christmas tree shop. I don't know if you have one of those stores in your area. Um, I don't know if you can see what the, uh, decoration is on this particular one, but it's a floral pattern. And then this bigger one here is a butterfly. And I really just thought that this was really, really cute. This particular bucket was $1.99 and I just had to bring it home. For one, purple is my favorite color. So that was, you know, the, the thing that really said, Sherelle, you need this, <laughs> even though I really, really don't. And then this rectangular one was 99 cent. I purchased this also from the Christmas tree shop. And the cutout here, I'm not sure what it is. It looks just like a scroll pattern, but either way, I thought they were cute. And what I plan on doing with these is, I plan on putting some markers in here. And that's what's gonna go in, in this uh, barrel or pail. This, I'm not even sure how I'm going to use it. I don't know what's going in, inside. All I know is that it was purple, it was a dollar, and it was just a real eye catcher to me. And so I bought it home. And both of these will be going in my craft room, okay? So that's the other two things I purchased. Uh, Next up 
is, hold on, I am replacing my handy dandy scissors. Now, those of you who have watched my channel before, you, uh, you already know that I consider my planner tools my handy dandy accessories. So back last summer, I saw some purple handle scissors at the Dollar Tree and because purple is my all time favorite color, I purchased them. But I have to tell you that they were very disappointing. They're very, very dull. And I just found that, you know what? They weren't even worth a dollar. So I got a chance to go into Joann's and lucky for me, they had purple handle scissors and guess what? I didn't pay $20 for them. They were half off. So I got two pair of scissors for $10 and everyone knows that the Fisker brand is pretty much the number one brand when it comes to cutting tools. So I'm not gonna open these. We already know how scissors work. This was also a part of my haul. I'm going to just kind of move this stuff to the side so I could get to uh, the next couple of things that I want to show you. So my friends, this purchase here is probably my favorite purchase of everything that I recently got uh, that I'm showing you now in this haul. And these are just brain teaser books. One is a crossword. One is a Sudoku puzzle, and the other one is a word search puzzle. All three of these I purchased from Aldi's, which is a local grocery store, and I'm sure a lot of you are familiar with Aldi's already. They are what feels to be a leather bound, but it's probably a faux leather, but nonetheless, they feel good and they look really, really rich. So I purchased these and they were $3.99 and you know the price point just said you know what get three different books because you know what they're $3.99 why not and also too I love brain teasers I love puzzles anything that will kind of get my brain working that's what I really really like doing so I purchased these and what I plan on doing with these is I have an outdoor gazebo and it is covered. It's a gazebo, so you know, um, it's covered. And what I wanna do is I wanna place either one or two of these in an airtight container and leave them outside in the gazebo so that when I am out there having my morning coffee, I don't have to bring a puzzle book out with me because I will already have one out there. And yes, I do have tons and tons of airtight containers. So I'll just pull one of them and make sure that um, I try leaving it outside for a couple of days. And then I'll bring it back in to, you know, ensure that it's staying safe from any uh, weathering. Guys, if you're into any type of puzzle books or anything like that and you have an Aldi's, see if you could find these. I think it was just such a really good um, price point. And then also too, uh, because I am a flight attendant, I do carry different activity books and you know hardcover reading books with me when I'm on the road. And it's nice to have a book with a very sturdy cover. So all three of these offer that sturdy cover that makes these books really, really good for travel. So again, of everything that I purchased uh, in this haul, these three books were probably my favorite. The next thing that I want to show you that I purchased, and this was strictly by recommendation by my sister-in-law, I purchased an Easy Adult Coloring Book. Guys, this adult coloring book whole thing is definitely not new to me. I know it's been around forever and ever, but I just always told myself that, you know what, uh, I have zero interest in doing a adult coloring book 
but I was visiting my sister-in-law and you know what? <laughs> she talked me into buying one and so here I am. I was able to get this from Amazon for I think it was $4 and of course I am a Prime member so it was free shipping and that was really the price point I wanted to purchase a coloring book for because I'm not sure how much I'm even gonna like it but like I said she recommended it she said that adult coloring is very relaxing and you know it allows you to just kind of remove yourself from you know whatever is going on with your day if you had a busy day a stressful day that coloring you know kind of takes you away uh, temporarily from you know whatever's going on in your life and so you know she again talked me into it and I was like okay I'll do it so this was again four dollars from Amazon and here we go I could not buy a coloring book without having let me show you markers so I went ahead and I purchased some dual markers along with the coloring book. I purchased them separately, but at the same time. And does that make sense? Like it wasn't a kit is what I'm trying to say is I purchased the coloring book and I also separately purchased the markers. I'm going to pull one out. This is number four, Vivid Red. Uh, they are by... Dabu and Shobu, Dabo and Shobo, I don't know, but it is a dual marker. It has the broad side and the fine side. I have yet to try these markers, but guess what? I'm gonna do it right now and we'll see how they work. Now, I will tell you that my daughter has the exact same, no, I'm taking that back. My daughter does have the exact same brand, but she purchased her markers that offer a whole lot more colors. Uh, but she does draw, she draws very well. She'll be using her markers often. She has tons of markers. Me, I don't see myself using them so much where I need it to have more than an 80 piece set. So uh, let's go ahead, I'm going to try these markers. One of the things I really want to know is whether or not they bleed. So I'm going to start there and then, uh, yeah, then I'm going to tell you how I plan to house these markers because the black case, while it is portable and, you know, it keeps all the markers contained, it's really not that cute. And I like cute, especially since these markers are definitely going in my craft room and I like cutesy stuff. So I'll show you how I plan on housing these markers. But first, let's see how they work. Okay, so here is just uh, the back side of a used uh, note sheet from the Happy Planner. And first I'm going to use the fine point side and I'm going to write my name and see if it bleeds. So let's see. Okay, so that is the fine point. Next, I'm going to use the broad brush side. Wow, and it is, it's definitely a thicker uh, point. And let's see, I guess I'll try to make a heart or something. Let's see. So the color is vivid red and it is, it's definitely a red. I don't know how much you could see in terms of color. Sometimes when you see things on screen, it, you know, is not the same as visualizing it in person, but uh, so far so good. But the main question is, is it going to bleed on the other side? So let's find out, ready? And yes, it does. <laughs> it does bleed. 
Um, but you know what? I'm okay with that. And let me tell you why. For one, I primarily bought these markers to use in this adult coloring book. Okay. So the fact that they bleed, I'm totally okay with that. The other thing that I was careful with when I purchased this coloring book was I wanted to make sure that there was only one image per full page. And so if you turn the page, you'll see that on the back, it's completely blank. So what I plan to do when I am coloring is I will use a piece of printer paper just to put between the two pages so that when I am coloring, anything that bleeds through, it will only bleed through the back of the page and not onto the new coloring page. So again, I am totally okay that these bleed. They were cheap and you know what? That's really what I was more or less concerned with. Can I get something with a good price point that had tons of colors and the Dabu Shabo or however you pronounce it, it answered yes to both of those questions for me. So now before I complete this video, I want to show you how I plan on housing these markers. And you probably already guessed it, you see this beautiful purple pail? Mm-hmm. That's where my new markers are going. So guess what? I'm going to take the time while I'm with you guys and put all of my new markers into my new pail. And I really, really, really hope that they all fit. So, oh, you know what else I kind of wanted to show you about these markers as well? They have a, hold on, let me put this to the side. These markers not only have a portable container, but inside they have individual, hold on, I don't even know what you call this, but give me a second. Let me see if I could get these out without messing anything up. Okay, here we go. All right, so inside the case is a little storage container and it has a little square space for each marker. So if I wanted to, I could just take these out of their portable uh, case and put them in my craft room on like a shelf or something and just leave them like this. But Sherelle being Sherelle, she wants to put all of her markers in this pail. So let's hope that they all fit. And the other thing that I really like is that all the markers have a number and a color description. So you know, I could just go ahead, drop them all in and, you know, just pick out a marker. So my friends, let me do that. And then we're going to go ahead and conclude this video. Okay, so it looks like I may have to take another trip to the Christmas tree store to get another one of these uh, pails because guess what? As you can tell, they don't all fit in here. Just this one portion of markers fit in this pail. And honestly, there's about what, two, about six or seven of them that really aren't fitting, but I'm gonna leave them in here anyway because I just think they are cute. And uh, yeah, I'll figure it out when I go downstairs. Maybe there's another really cute pail I can use because honestly, guys, I have so many different storage options downstairs that are not even 
in use. So guys, this is my haul for today. I really do hope you enjoyed everything that you saw in today's haul. Comment below and let me know if you are using any of these items that I showed you today. And if not, comment below and let me know if there's anything that you plan on purchasing now that you have seen this haul. I really thank you so much for stopping by today. If you did enjoy what you saw today, I invite you to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to hit that notification bell so that you don't miss any of my uploads. Again, thank you so much for stopping by. This is Sherelle from Planner with a Praise saying peace and blessings.